Hello, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for us on the Capricorn? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for us on the Capricorn? Please and thank you. You're definitely done dealing with someone here. Whoever you were dealing with, this person was the type of person to take like their anger out on others. So it's like if things weren't working out in their life, then they wanted everyone else to be miserable as well too. You never could get the truth out of this person as well. It's like you finally, your current energy is like you see things clearly now. Like you see this person for who they truly are. You're no longer like wearing your rose tinted glasses here, trying to make this out to be more than what it is. Like you realize that it's not going anywhere because this person, like they're playing with your love here. Like they're they're willing to, like they're the way they're handling this situation is like, oh well, like if I if I lose Capricorn, it's not going to affect me. Oh well. And you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm over this. I'm done with this. Why is this significant? Why is this significant to Capricorn? Why is this significant to Capricorn? It's about you making a decision. A decision regarding what? Why is why is a decision and this is why is this significant? They're they're saying this is significant because it's time for you to make a clear decision to finally move on with your life to stop crying over spilled milk and to move on with your life. To no longer allow this situation to hold you back. They're saying it's time to finally make that clear decision to cut this out of your life so that you can move towards something better here. Because the energy that this connection is causing you to take on is this energy of lack this energy of you don't deserve, this energy of low self-esteem, this is all stemming from this connection. So they're saying it's time for you to make better choices here so that real love can come towards you because there's a romantic proposal coming towards you. Why is Two of Cups in reverse showing up? Someone that was hot and cold on you. One minute they were all over you. The next minute they were playing games. And Okay. They're saying don't allow your emotions to hold you back because you know that this is not real love. You know that this is not true love and they're needing you to wake up to this lesson that they're trying to teach you here to let this go so that you can go towards something new. But they keep showing us you're holding on to it and they're trying to break you free because there's some connection coming towards you and they don't want you to be in your head regarding this connection that's not going anywhere. So they don't want you to allow your 
emotions to interfere with something good that's coming towards you because you still have emotions for this past person, whether you want to admit it or not. You don't have to admit it to me, but this is what they're saying in order for something new because something something new is coming in. It's a romantic proposal coming towards you because with nights, this is action. This energy is in motion. And with the Knight of Swords popping up, this is like the knight in shining armor. So this is like the type of energy you've been waiting for to like kind of rescue you in like a sense. Rescue you from all of these trash ass love stories that you've been entertaining and it hasn't been getting you anywhere. So this is new energy coming towards you, new fresh energy with an entirely different perspective here than what you are used to dealing with. Okay, there's someone coming in. After you complete out this cycle, they're saying there's someone coming towards you. This is so unexpected, but this person is going to only have eyes for you. And this is all happening. Perfect timing is unstoppable, is bound to happen. What I'm getting, uh, I'm trying to think of who sings this song. I'm not sure. Your first, your last. Um, how's it go? Because I'm getting um, Money Talks with uh, Charlie Sheen and Chris Tucker. And Chris Tucker sings this song and the song just came to my head. You're my first, my last, my everything. And the answer to... Oh my mm. So it's that's it's like you're my first, my last, my everything. Someone is looking at you like you're their entire world. Basically that's the message that I'm getting from it. They felt like they were guided to you. They know that this is not a coincidence. They feel like they were guided into your life. Why is Fox showing up here? Past energy showing up with some of the seats.
okay, your past person is tripping because they see that you're doing better all on your own. They are saying within a week, someone is showing up. This is spring. This is happening. Your emperor, whether you're dealing with an airy sign, there is someone popping up for you immediately. And it's someone from the past, like, damn, they tried to be deceptive towards you. They thought they were being very clever. They try to trap you one way or the other. Somebody could have red hair. You knew something wasn't right with this person when you met them, but you still entertain this connection. But the divine got you out of this situation and you know better not to deal with this again. This person is watching you live your best life without them. The best part is you guys are living your best life without them all on your own. And then whoop, there it is. You got this connection that comes in for you just out the blue. You are not expecting this at all. But it's happening perfect timing. This is playing out perfectly in your life. Not too soon, not too late. It's happening at the perfect time. Just right. Like Queen Latifah. Some of y'all could love that movie, Just Right. It's with Queen Latifah. Isn't that what common too? Whew, let me get one more message for you guys and we're going to wrap this up. Yeah, so sad. So sad. Someone just didn't have the courage to speak up. They allow their pride to get in the way and ultimately it caused this connection to come to an end. They're feeling sick because it's like their, their grief is literally manifesting into physical form. And it's because they're so upset that they allow, they're very disappointed within themselves for allowing their pride to get in the way. But really all it was, they just didn't have the courage to come towards you and to speak their truth. And it led to things ending between the two of you. See, someone here held on to the hope of a connection working out for a long time. And finally you realize it's time to let it go. And when you did that, it opened so many doors for you. You were doing so much, like things just started to just really progress at rapid speeds here in your life the moment you decided to release this connection. So this person, one way or the other, is able to see all the blessings that are pouring into your life now that you have fully released them. They know you've released them. They know it. And this is their lesson to not be so prideful, to humble themselves. Because all this pride is only getting in their way. It's not helping them. It's not benefiting them one way or the other. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.